Good morning, folks. We've got a look at space weather, including the expected impact here today. We've got something from Sapphire. We'll add to the magnetic field biological impact, look back at a past space weather event, and then take a different angle on a big weather story out this week. Starting here with the last 24 hours on our star, and the last day was a quiet one. The big sunspots that unleashed the X-class solar flare have gone quiet. The coronal hole stream was about as thin and weak as could be, and so our focus becomes the solar wind as we await the glancing blow from the CME unleashed by the X-5 solar flare two nights ago. NOAA and NASA forecasts say it's going to impact any hour now. Not going to be scary since it's just a glancing blow, but we could take geomagnetic storms at low level today when it hits. Folks, I got a Merry Christmas call from Monty Childs at Sapphire. He told me to be watching out for this. Brand new video from the project team and it's in your link list below. If you have been a Sapphire fan, you'll want to head over and check that out today. First article hits the magnetic field impact to wheat. They specifically looked at the frequencies within the Schumann bands and found significant magnetic impacts to the plant's biological processes. An excellent reminder that as Earth's magnetic fields are currently changing rapidly, there is no life on the planet that will escape unaffected. Good paper up next looking back at the September 2017 solar storms and how atmospheric ionization resulted from the solar flares, the energetic proton events, and the radiation belt electrons pushed down into the atmosphere. All of those affect ozone and the global electric circuit and are pathways of forcing absent from the official models of climate impact. Last but not least, as always they're going to blame climate change for this, but as Earth's magnetic field is weakening. More of the cosmic energy reaches the atmosphere and triggers lightning. There's dozens of papers on this, and even the mainstream doesn't deny it, but they never seem to put those pieces together when they've got the opportunity to plug their propaganda paradigm. Folks, correct observation with the lightning, wrong conclusion as to why. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the solar wind for that impact today. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.